Hello and welcome back to our study of Pnei Halacha, the teachings of Rebbe Yezim Malame Shlita. We are continuing our study in the interpersonal laws department, and the next topic is Atziras Hariv. Bisar Hatorah lo sikin So as we discussed yesterday, the prohibition against bearing a grudge, taking revenge, etc. So within that, Kovas Hatorah she'ein makam l'shum riv modon ben adam l'chavero. Torah establishes for us that there is no place for any sort of infighting or kitata, any sort of negative behavior from one towards another. And if some sort of dispute, fight of some sort breaks out, then we are compelled to stop it. And even if one side is behaving inappropriately, not properly, so then the other side that's been wronged, and as we've been discussing, has to make every effort not to bear a grudge and not to take revenge. If we are successful in behaving the way the Torah wants us to behave, and we don't take revenge and we don't bear a grudge, if we are successful, if one side is able to stop it, then most arguments would stop. Because generally speaking, it's only when there are two people fighting or two sides fighting, that's how it continues. If we're able to follow the Torah's guidance, and if everyone is to act in such a personal way as that not to contribute to this type of growing argument, and if you don't give it back when someone gives it to you, and the imagery he says, then this small snowflake won't cascade and it won't become a larger item. Again, what we're calling the snowball effect. We'll keep it small while we can. But we still have to further understand the prohibition of, that the Torah puts upon us not to hate, not to take revenge, not to bear a grudge. Ultimately speaking, this is a feeling within each and every person. When a person is afflicted, when a person is hurt, it strikes you deeply and you become wounded, you become angry. And you want to give back to the person that hurt you. You want to give back what they deserve. Does the Torah want us that we should bury all of our feelings? That we should just conceal them? That up to a point where when we're hurt, we don't feel it? And then this is the way that we won't hate people? We've been saying that the Torah doesn't tell us how to feel, but the Torah tells us perhaps how to channel our feelings or how to behave properly. So in the Jerusalem Talmud in Nidarim, So we have a fundamental answer to this question. So imagine someone is walking, and he trips. There's a small stone in the street or the stoop or whatever it might be. He trips, and he falls, and he breaks his hand. Do we ever have in mind that the, the hand is so angry at the foot for tripping that the hand is going to take a hammer, and they're going to smash the foot with full force to punish it because it caused this injury. Yerushalmi says that all of the Jewish people are like one soul. We're all merely divided into different limbs. And if one limb, which is one person, strikes or afflicts another, it doesn't make sense that one limb is going to attack the other limb. 
אך אם יהיה שיב לו כגמולו, רק יתווסף עוד כאב וצער. Yes, it's true that the other person behaved inappropriately. And yes, it's true that the other one caused pain and suffering. However, if you give it back just the same way, if you get him what he deserves, the way we would see it, we're only adding more pain, more suffering. Gam hayad v'gam haregel yiftzu, both the hand and the foot, using that parable of the Yerushalmi, will be afflicted. Gam hu v'gam chaveri yalvu, you and your friend will be hurt, you'll be injured, you'll be insulted. Umay yitzay mizeh, and then what's going to come of this? L'chein madjicha osenu hator lo sikum lisitores b'nei amecha, that's why the Torah guides us and says, you shall not take revenge, you shall not, shall not bear a grudge, and you cannot hate your brother in your heart. Barur, shekashem olakai mitzvazu. There's no question. Again, being realistic, this is very, very difficult to fulfill this mitzvah. Ach yachad imzos, gam ha-to'el she-titzmach mishmiras mitzvos ele brura. But together with the difficulty in observing this mitzvah, the benefit that will sprout from observing this is clear. Not only will your community, the people around you, will we benefit from this. But even that specific person that holds himself back from taking revenge, from bearing a grudge, he will also benefit. He'll have fewer enemies. He'll have a more pleasant life, less anguish. Let's ajada, as it were. Who yirchosh l'atzmas midas anava, he will inherit for himself the attribute of modesty, of humility. Yilamed lahabit el haolam ba'ayin tava, he will learn how to look at the world with a good eye. Yihya samech v'yarech yamim, he'll be happy, he'll have a longer life. The kochach sav yuhu penuyim lepitur kishvenasav hamichadim lahashlamas yudu b'chayim, and all of his strength will then be channeled towards his talents, his individual characteristics, so he'll live a better life. Again, the less time we spend worrying about these types of nonsensical arguments, even though you've been hurt, but if you can overcome that, you'll ultimately be a better person. Again, this is tremendously difficult. As We've all been hurt. We've all been insulted, and we feel like we just want to let the other person have it because, I don't know, maybe it makes us feel better. But here... The Torah guides us, and Rav Malamed spells it out quite clearly what our behavior should be ultimately. And this is tremendous, Musar, for each and every one of us. So, hope everyone has a great day ahead. We'll see you here next time, God willing. As we continue studying, Pnei Halacha, teaching Rav Eliezer Malamed Shlitah.